Good morning, good people. Good afternoon, some of y'all. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, consider hitting to subscribe. Today, I'm going to show you how I shot this car accident scene for a client. Roll the video. <laughs> Recording? All right, let's get down to business. So first things first, if you are gonna shoot any type of car accident, any type of car scene, you wanna look for you know, some unpopulated places. For us, I did a little driving around. I found this commerce park that had a couple nice buildings, but it cleared out after five o'clock. And I thought it was just perfect for what we're looking to do here. I ended up hiring my friend uh, Victoria to be our model, aka the person that's gonna get in a car accident. So me and her got in the car and we pretty much just drove around the parking lot as a capture bureau shots and did things of like, you know, close up of her hands, close up of her face, all different types of shots that I could use to pretty much help build the story. So next thing we did here, we pretty much got both cars lined up in the intersection uh, where I was gonna have the car accident happen. And the, the way we did this, I had the black Hyundai get super close up to the driver's side door and then had Veronica have her hands up against the car and then when I called action she would actually move back and have her hand in the steering wheel and then when I also when I called action I would have Gabe hit the car in reverse so then when I actually brought the car into post reduction it would actually look like the car is coming towards her. Uh so we're gonna use a tripod to pretty much stitch two shots together where we're gonna have Veronica driving this way as if she was gonna run the red light and then we're gonna have Gabe come down this way. And since we're using a tripod in post-production, we're able to stitch both of the shots together so it looks like they're actually about to crash. Perfect. Go ahead, back up. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna have you go again. So, pretty much, I ended up moving the camera, and this is a mistake that when you're stitching these shots, is that if the camera moves, it's easier for you to redo the shot now than have to try to fix it in post, because I, it was a very small slight adjustment, but it makes a really big difference when you're actually sitting down and editing. Ready? Three, two, one, action. Perfect. Do one more. You're doing great. So for a recap, you're gonna have two cars super close to each other. You're gonna have one of them reverse backwards for your close-up shot. And then you're gonna have a camera set on a tripod and capture both cars going throw it towards each other at separate times and then pretty much stitch everything together in post. Add some sound effects, cut right before impact, and you have something that looks like this. Now, if you're new to the channel, consider hitting subscribe. I do a little bit of everything about video production, working with small businesses. I'd love to know what you wanna learn next. Uh, leave it in the comments, and like I said, if you're new, hit subscribe. Make sure to smash the like button. I'll see you guys next time.